good morning children welcome to all today session i am taking the topic crystal field splitting energy and nature of the ligand children now the concept is crystal field theory the previous class we saw the crystal field theory concept okay in crystal field theory take the octahedral complex as well as the tetrahedral complex okay talk about the properties of octahedral as well as tetrahedral okay children especially in crystal field theory talk about the color okay uh, because d block elements uh, coordinate in d block elements of the coordination complexes maximum colored substances okay so now here this colored properties is pro promptly explained in the crystal field theory okay children so in the previous session in octahedral talk uh, studied the splitting okay degenerate orbital in the presence of ligand splitting takes place same way for in tetrahedral also okay in octahedral complex now this is a degenerate state okay so degenerate means same energy for example d orbital here five degenerate okay same energy level so now in the presence of ligand it start splitting okay it is split into two ways one is t2g and another one is eg okay so in t2g 3d orbital it is present in eg 2 orbital it is present okay 3 orbital is represented as dxy dx is it and dy is it here eg in eg two orbital one is dx square minus y square and another one is dz square okay so now splitting so now same the degenerate orbital the five orbital now split three as well as two okay three triply degenerate doubly degenerate for octahedral complex okay children in tetrahedral complex T2G it present here, EG it present here. That's all. Okay. So in the previous session, just we see only the introduction part in crystal field. Now this session study the splitting energy. Okay. So now this is the splitting part. So now here talk about the energy. Okay, splitting energy. The splitting energy. it explained based on the nature of the ligand okay so ligand here uh, ligand that is expressed strong field ligand as well as weak field ligand in strong field ligand what about the splitting energy okay in weak ligand what about the splitting energy this is the concept for this session first part okay children so now talk about the splitting energy okay so this one symbol as delta 0 this zero denoted as octahedral complex this del here denoted as crystal field splitting okay energy okay so here this one for Barry center here degenerate orbitals is present no splitting okay here constant so afterwards alone to start split are you clear okay so now here to consider this is center okay so now the energy difference this at the same time the remaining part here the energy difference are you clear children the energy difference total degenerate orbital is 5 okay so here it is spelled 3 so remaining 2 so 2 okay same way here 2 remaining 3 
so now here energy level increases so positive here energy level decreases so minus 2 so 2 by 5 is equal to 0.4 here minus symbol so minus okay same way here plus plus 3 by 5 0.6 this delta 0 denoted as crystal field splitting energy okay children this session now talk about the splitting energy level okay using the formula find out the values from that we assume the uh, ligand okay so the that that explained based on the nature of ligand are you clear children okay so crystal field splitting energy it explained based on number one nature of the ligand nature of ligand is a one concept and another one nature of central okay central metal atom or ion ion next are charges on the central metal atom or ion okay it based on this three so now I explain based on the nature of ligand. Okay. So, see one example. A4, Fe, Cl, 6. This is the coordination compound. Okay. Metal, transition metal, cyanide ligand. Okay. This ligand is the strong ligand or weak ligand. Children, few ligands you know very well. Such and such strong ligand. For example, here cyanide is a strong ligand. So, in the presence of ligand, now the energy level, okay, is maximum or minimum. Okay. So, now we are going to discuss in this session. Can you understand what I say, children? Okay. I take the three example. Okay. Central metal atom is same. But ligand is different. Okay children. So titanium. Central metal. Ligand. Bromine. Okay. Br. Six times. This one octahedral. Okay. So here. Minus three. So next one. Titanium. Fluorine. Okay. So six minus 3. Next example, titanium H2O water molecule 6. Here, plus 3 charges. Now, I take the 3 example. Using the 3 example, now to talk about the crystal field splitting energy. Okay. As well as the ligand, nature of the ligand, whether it is the strong ligand or weak ligand. Okay. So, here, now give the values also, experimental data values given. So, from that, we find out the crystal field splitting energy. Okay. So, now, calculate the crystal field splitting energy. Okay. So, symbol delta equal to H mu. Okay. Mu is equal to formula C by lambda. Okay. Substitute here. So, delta equal to H C by lambda. Okay. 1 by lambda equal to mu pi. So, now substitute here 1 by lambda. So, delta equal to H C mu bar. Okay. So, now this is the formula to calculate the crystal field splitting energy. Okay. So, delta crystal field splitting energy. H plan constant. Okay. Plan constant. Plan constant. C. Velocity of light. Velocity of light. Value 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. 
Planck constant value, you know, 6.626 into 10 power minus 34. Okay, unit kilogram meter square per second. Next, mu bar. Okay, is denoted as grave number of absorption. Okay, absorption of wave number. Lambda wavelength. Okay, children. So, in the, now to calculate the delta for this com compound, to coordination compound, this as well as this. Okay. So, now here, according to the formula, H constant, C constant, mu bar is given in the question. Okay. For example, titanium bromide. Children, for this compound, IUPAC name, hexa bromido titaniate oxidation state 3. Okay, here 6 to minus 3. So, 3 ion. Okay, children. So, now to calculate the delta. Delta formula HC mu bar. This mu bar value 12,500 centimeter per centimeter. Okay. So, now substitute in the formula delta equal to H value 6.626 into 10 power minus 34. Okay. Kilogram meter square per second. See velocity into 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay. Per centimeter converted into meter. So, 12,000. 500 into 10 power 2 per meter. Okay. So, now here 3 values. 6.626, 3 and 12,500. Substitute all the values related to the formula. H value 6.626 into 10 power minus 34. Here children, kilogram meter square per second. Okay, here have no kilogram. So, is equal to joule second. Okay, joule second. So, now see here. Here second per second cancel. Per meter, meter cancel. Remaining joule unit. Okay, so write the unit here. So, multiply it 6.626 into 3 into 12,500. So, get the answer. This value. Okay, here 10 power minus 34, here plus 8, plus 2, 10, so minus 24. Okay, so next to see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so point, so into 10 power 5, so 10 power minus 19 joule. Okay, so joule converted into kilojoule, so into 10 power minus 3, so minus 3 means 2 point. 484 into minus 3 so 10 power minus 22 kilo joule okay so now it expressed into mole okay so it multiplied with Avogadro number therefore 2.484 into 10 power minus 22 okay kilo joule into Avogadro number 6.023 into 10 power 23 per mole. Okay. So, now here per mole. So, now multiply this two. Now, the, get the answer 14.94. Okay. Here 10 power minus 22, 23. So, 10 power 1. Unit kilojoule per mole. Okay, children. So, now the point move here. It has into 10 power here 1. Okay. So, 149.4. Okay. Kilojoule per mole. This is the values of hexa bromido titaniate 3 ion delta values. Okay, that means now here titanium is a D block. Okay, D uh, orbitals. So, 5 electrons. Here titanium atomic number 22. 
so 3d 2 4 is 2 here 3 so only one electron okay now start splitting this like okay so here this one octahedral complex so t2g here eg are you clear children okay so now talk about this splitting energy values 149.4 are you clear children so this calculation it shows the splitting energy of the coordination complex okay children this is one of the trick now the ligand is strong field now the splitting is very weak are you clear children so the energy values is very lengthy excess energy at the same time if it is weak field now the splitting is very small that shows the energy level is less this is the concept children okay can you understand children once again now even this when i start the class write the heading it depends on nature of the ligand if the ligand is strong field now the splitting energy energy differences more excess okay if the ligand is weak field the splitting energy is small are you clear children this is an important concept to children okay so now i take the next example children the second example okay hexa fluorido titanium 3 ion now calculate the delta value h is e mu bar okay h constant 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 unit joule second c velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second mu prime given in the question okay datas so 19000 centimeter converted into meter so 10 power 2 okay so multiply 1 2 3 so now to get the answer Okay, here 8 plus 2, 10 plus 10, minus 34, so minus 24, okay, cancel the unit, so remaining joule, okay. So next to put the point, so 10 power 5, so minus 24, 5, minus 19, joule. Now joule converted into kilojoule into 10 power minus 3, so minus 22, okay. So this value it expressed in mole, so it multiplied with Avogadro number. Avogadro values 6.023 into 10 power 23. Multiply this now to get the answer. So 10 power 1. So put the point here. So kilojoule per mole. Children, this values also shows here titanium D orbital. Now splitting takes place. Okay. So six octahedral so octahedral t2g down eg at the top okay so now the energy splitting energy is 227.7 okay so next i write the next example same way do the calculation so now to compare okay afterwards come to the conclusion Next compound titanium water molecule 6 3 plus ion. Okay, so now formula crystal field splitting energy del equal to Hc mu prime, Hc Planck constant, C velocity of light, mu bar, wave number. Okay, so mu bar value given, substitute same procedure children multiplied. Now get the answer. Here 8 power 8, here power 2 10, so minus 24, unit cancel, remaining joule. Okay, so next to put the point, so 10 power 5, 19, joule converted into kilojoule, into 10 power minus 3, so minus 22. It, this one, delta value is expressed in mole, so multiplied with the 6.023 into 10 power 23. Okay. So, here 23, 22, so plus 1, power plus 1, so put the point, so value kilojoule per mole. Now, uh, then the calculation for titanium Br6 
titanium F6, titanium H2O6. So now I write all the values. Okay, delta crystal still splitting energy values. Here titanium, titanium, titanium. Central metal ion is common. Ligand is variation. Okay, so now based on this delta value, now give give the arrangement. So here 239 water molecule is the highest one. Next 227 for fluoride. Okay, so next 149 Br. Children, this order is shows. Now this one for big pit. Okay, among this here is this one for strong pit. This one for big pit. Okay, within this. Okay, so next is here. So same way for now in the textbook give the series spectral series okay so the spectral series shows left side this one for left side this one for right side so right side the ligand are strong field ligand the left side this side starting point okay so now it is a weak field ligand okay so in the strong field ligand the splitting energy is more okay so now compare here the energy splitting energy okay for water molecule is more so next here compared to this is compared to the, this one less again this one for is very less okay so this alone now find out from this calculation are you clear children okay so among this here the splitting energy is more here okay compared to this less again this one for less children why we studied this topic mean next we are discussing the high spin complexes as well as low spin complexes okay based on this nature of the ligand to fill the electron Okay, so this is the main concept to children. I am writing the series. Okay, this one for ligand. I minus Br minus SCN minus Cl minus S2 minus F minus OH minus urea engaged to CO engaged to oxalate of water. Okay, so this one for ligand children. In a textbook, the, all the series given in a single line. Okay, so now here right side this one so now this c n c o okay right side so starting i minus b r minus this one for left side okay so this right side ligand are strong field ligand this one for weak field okay weak field ligand this one strong field ligand, this one weak field ligand. So in strong field ligand, the splitting energy is more. Okay, so don't forget children. Okay, so now weak field ligand, the splitting energy is very less. The energy values are small. Okay, so we can understand till in the crystal field splitting energy, it explain based on nature of the ligand. So here the cal calculation part. Okay. Experimental data. Okay. So from this experimental data we come to the conclusion. The left side is the weak field ligand. Right side is the strong field ligand. So next one another one concept splitting energy. Okay. So now the in the strong field ligand, the splitting energy is more. Okay. So at the same time, weak field ligand is very less. Energy values is very less. So this one for spectrochemical series. Sometimes how the how to identify the ligand. Whether it is strong field ligand or weak field ligand, children, this is the trick okay so keep in mind weak field ligand ligand in which the donor atom are halogen oxygen and sulfur are weak field ligand okay children so see this example halogen fluorine chlorine 
bromine iodine okay so now this ligand is the big field ligand halogens next oxygen oh minus okay so oxalate c2o4 2 minus next water molecule h2o so next one sulfur yes cn minus or nc yes here sulfur is the donor atom okay so easily remember that h2o yes okay halogen oxygen and the sulfur so this type of ligand it comes under the weak field ligand so strong field ligand mean ligand in which donor atoms are c n p keep in mind c denoted as carbon okay n denoted as nitrogen p denoted as phosphorus here h o s weak field ligand c n p is the strong field ligand so carbon c o okay c n so here CN as this is an ambidinal ligand. Both also it is a donor atom. Okay. NC. So next ammonia NH3. Okay. So EN ethylene diamine. So P example triphenyl phosphine. Triphenyl phosphine. So this ligands are strong field ligand. This ligands HOS are weak field ligand. CNP are strong fin ligand so keep in your mind children next topic distribution of electron in octahedral complex children octahedral complex pattern you must keep in your mind degenerate orbital okay so now start split so now splitting takes place this one for octahedral complex octahedral complex so in octahedral complex always t2g it present at down eg it present at the top keep in your mind this is very important don't change okay if it is change mean this one splitting is the tetrahedral complex okay point number one now distribution of electron for example d1 configuration no problem it's very simple so d1 this one d orbital degenerate orbital only one electron now start filling so the, put the electron here now if it is d2 configuration here d2 that's all okay d3 configuration for example here d3 that's all so till no problem children if in d4 configuration are you clear okay children d1 d2 means it's very simple children titanium h2o 6 3 plus okay titanium atomic number 22 so 3d 2 4s2 now titanium oxidation state 3 plus so 2 from 4s 1 from 3d so remaining 3d 1 so this alone i'm writing here are you clear children okay so in d4 configuration now to fill the electron okay so this one it follow the huns rule okay so huns rule mean single electron first afterward to start pairing so now d4 here two possibilities first possibility is now the fourth electron is enter here okay another one possibility the fourth electron is enter in eg orbitals are you clear children so two possibilities one possibility now the fourth electron enter here so now the configuration is t2g3 eg0 this is a one possibility. Another one possibility is this fourth electron is entered here. Now write the electronic configuration T2G. Okay. Sorry. First one. So now T2G3 EG1. Children, so can you find the difference here? Four electron. The next one, three. Here EG1. Okay. So two possibilities. So now 
in which first this possibility is when it is applicable and second one when it is applicable is very important children okay so now here talk about the crystal field splitting energy so this previous topic we calculate the crystal field splitting energy okay so crystal field splitting energy is greater than the pairing energy okay so crystal field splitting energy is greater mean already i told children here the crystal field splitting is very big okay so very big mean now the electron it moves to the excited state it need excess energy okay so better start pairing okay so after completed in t2g next goes to the eg level are you clear children okay so now del is greater than p now start pairing here pairing is completed next go to the eg children this area is very important so listen again now two condition okay del is greater than pairing energy now start the paired up electrons after pair pairing is completed in t2g next electron go to the eg level are you clear okay another one condition pairing is greater than okay delta now delta is lesser okay so delta is less means this one now the splitting energy is less so easily electron it move to the higher level it need less amount of energy okay but at the same time here it need excess amount of energy are you clear children okay so in pairing energy is greater than del mean now the electron here single fill so next fill the electron here are you clear children children this one i am taking the example and i explain are you clear okay so now the topic is distribution of electron children up to d3 no problem from d4 d5 d6 configuration to have some doubt now the electron fourth electron or fifth electron filled here or here okay so to avoid this confusion now use this concept point number 1 delta is greater than p pairing okay afterwards fill the electron here now pairing is greater than del now he singly fill so fourth electron is enter in eg orbital okay mm. in distribution of electron here also how the calculation children crystal field stabilization energy okay so in distribution of electron delta okay crystal field splitting energy e zero denoted as octahedral complex equal to okay so now energy difference so put the minus energy difference between energy of ligand field as well as energy of isotropic or barrier center okay children so now another one formula t to g okay into minus 0.4 plus eg into 0.6 okay so this whole term is multiplied with the delta 0 plus n p b okay so number of electron pairing in ligand field this we denote as pairing energy plus n p prime this one denoted as number of electron pair in isotropic or barre center with pairing energy okay so this is the formula for crystal field stabilization energy in distribution of electrons of octahedral complexes children once again t2g okay number of electron in t2g into minus 0.4 children this minus 0.4 now for this session i am beginning i am re representing in this diagram okay here this one minus 0.4 here 0.6 so t2g minus 0.4 
EG point six delta zero plus NP electron pair number of electron pair. Okay, so same way for this one also number of electron pair. This one denoted as ligand field. This one denoted as isotropic or barycenter. Take the example here FeH2O6 3 plus M. Okay, so this compound now from this compound now to come to the conclusion is high spin is favored or low spin complex is favored. Okay, two types high spin and another one is low spin. Children, high spin complexes the orbital has more number of unpaired electron is more this is the clue children okay so in high spin complexes now d orbital splitting takes place okay so t to g here eg here fe atomic number 20 in atomic number 26 so 3d6 4s2 okay so here plus 3 so 2 plus 1, 3 electron, it is last remaining, 3D5. Okay, so here 5 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 electrons. Now to fill here, so 1, 2, 3, 4 as well as 5. Okay, in high spin complexes. Another one category in low spin complexes mean this one for pairing. Okay, children. So, in high spin, what about? In low spin, what about? That's all. Which one is favored? Whether it is a, this pattern or the remaining pattern. This is the concept. Okay. So, now here electron, it is singly occupied. So, here number of unpaired electron is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, high spin mean number of unpaired electron is more. Okay. Now, applying the formula. So, now here delta 0 values as well as pairing energy is given. Okay. Children, this NP prime P is 0. Okay. So, this one for isotropic. So, here this position alone is denoted as isotropic. Barry center. The center part. Here, no pairing. So, 0. Okay. So, here instead of this, right? 0. Okay. So, T to G. How many electron? 3. Okay. So, T to G 3. EG 2 electron. So, instead of T to G, write the number of electron 3 into 0 0.4. Okay. Plus EG number of electron 2. Okay. Into 0 0.6 delta 0 plus here number of electron pairing so here no pairing so zero so this also zero this also zero okay so here zero so now three fours are twelve so here negative value so minus one point two plus two two six are twelve here point six so one point two okay into delta zero value fourteen thousand now here minus 1.2 plus 1.2 0. 0 into 14,000 the value is 0. Okay children. So now the value is 0 mean it is stable. It is denoted as stable. Maybe to get the values. Okay. So now this one for what? That is delta E 0. Okay. Crystal field splitting energy in distribution of electron. Okay, so now zero mean it is stable. Maybe if it is positive mean it denoted as it is unstable. Okay, maybe if it is negative mean more stable. So children, you must keep the concept. Okay, zero is a very stable. Minus more stable. Positive, unstable. Okay, so now to calculate the low spin complexes okay so in low spin the next pattern to fill the electron okay so here degenerate one electron so now splitting start okay so this one for octahedral so t2 g here eg so now 
here low spin okay so low spin mean more pairing so 1 2 3 4 and 5 here no electron okay children so t2 g how many electron 5 electron eg 0 are you clear okay so now substitute in the formula here t2 g how many electron 5 electron into okay minus 0.4 plus eg here number of electron 0 okay so 0 into 0 0.6 0 okay so here delta 0 plus number of electron pairing so here pairing here also pairing number of how many times two times so plus two into okay pairing energy thirty thousand okay instead of this delta zero also write fourteen thousand okay fourteen thousand plus seven. okay so here five four sir 20 so here 0.4 so 2.0 here 0 into 0.6 0 so 2.0 into 14,000 okay plus here 2 3 are 6 so 60,000 okay children so next here 2 into 14 okay so 48 48,000 plus here sorry. and here minus value okay minus 0.4 so minus so here 2 into 14 28 so minus 28,000 plus 60 so answer is 32,000 plus 32,000 right clear children so now here Delta E0 value plus 32. Okay, now wanted to compare here 0, here 32. Okay, so which one is stable one mean? Now positive values mean denoted as it is unstable. So now high spin, sorry, low spin complex is not favored. So only high spin complex is favored. Okay, so now here the unpaired electron it is more. So how many unpaired electron? So number of unpaired electron 5. Okay, so now to calculate the mu s. Spin magnetic, spin only magnetic moment. So we know the formula root of n into n plus 2. So n value 5. So 5 means what is the answer? 5.9 bm bore magneton. Children, we we'll come to the end of the session. So if any comp compound, coordination compound is given using the crystal field theory now to find out whether it is high spin complex or low spin complex is favored okay any one any one mean now based on the values okay delta e0 value based on the delta e0 value now we come to the conclusion such and such is favored okay so once again here zero mean it is a stable Negative value means more stable. Positive means it is unstable. It is not favored. Children, I hope you understand this session. This is very important children. Okay, important topic. Okay, so study properly. Thank you.